So hey everyone, today in this video, I'm going to share you what are the things you should expect from a clinical SAS training institute. So let's suppose you have completed your B pharmacy or clinical research related education or life science related education, okay, or graduation. So after that, you started looking for jobs and which are the roles good for you. And you found there is a role clinical SAS programmer or statistical programmer. Once you got to know this, you started looking for best clinical SAS training institute. So today I'm going to share you what are the content you should get from your clinical SAS training institute and what you should expect from them. First and foremost thing, you should make sure the training you are getting that is live, it is not recorded videos. It's not like, okay, you are going to get the training and that is recorded earlier. It is not a live session. You should get live session and you should also get recording of your live session. Okay, let's suppose today one or one and a half hour session was that and after the session, you should get the recording as well and the code as well. And let's suppose in any of the day in a month, there can be four or five days that you can miss the session due to X, Y, Z reasons. Either you are working professional, either you are student either you completed your education okay in any of the part you can miss any of the session any three or four session in that case you can quickly access to the recording and just revise it and you should also get doubt discussion session in doubt discussion session whatever your doubts are there you can actively ask to them and get the solution and make sure your doubt discussion sessions are also getting recorded and again the solution which is provided by the trainer that is also given to you through a code along with the recording. And what is the best way to ask doubt? So let's suppose today is something you got taught in the session, let's suppose functions. So today you should utilize your time for practicing, okay? And in the next session, you can raise your hands and ask your doubts. Or like what I am giving training, most probably on Friday, we have doubt discussion session and daily we can also discuss the doubts. If small doubts are that daily, we can discuss. If the doubts are going to take more time, we discuss on Friday. So first, the session should be live. And second, you should also get the recording of the live session. Third, you should also get the code. On top of that, the technical thing, the base SAS, advanced SAS, clinical SAS, even a project. Project is there, then it's good. In clinical SAS or project, what are the fundamental things or very important thing you should learn? That is SDM adam table listing on top of that you should make sure there are some other sessions as well which you can count in a non-technical like communication building session a lot of you hesitate in communicating in english because of lack of confidence even like you are like convenient in speaking in english but still you don't have that confidence okay sometimes it happens and in many of the states a lot of people are unable to actively speak in english because uh, that environment is not there so for those people also it is important because the communication building session will help you to boost your confidence okay in speaking english and while speaking communicating to others okay and there should be other sessions like how to give interview test cv making how to find jobs and also the trainer should guide you so what will be the journey from beginning to end what is going to happen and how much time it is going to take the learning part the interview getting part and the cracking part on top of that there should be guidance from your trainer end okay even after completing the training so once you start applying jobs okay you get a lot of difficulties in that process in getting interviews and applying part so at that time also you should get some guidance from your trainer so that will help you to boost your confidence Again, you'll get the solution, what you are making wrong or what you are doing wrong. On top of that, once you are giving the interview, after the interview, you can connect to your trainer, okay, and get the guidance. The way you have given the interview is correct or not. Or if something you are doing mistake, how you can improve that and give a better interview next time. So all those guidance, even after completing your training, that is very important. Okay, I'm damn sure, yeah, once you have completed your training, you have done 70% of the things. But what I believe the real-time difficulties uh, you face after completing your training that is actually there so at that time also you should get the guidance from your trainer and the same way i do to my students and there are many other things let me tell you guys uh, straight away four months of learning four months of getting interview and one year two months of cracking okay so around eight to nine months easily the whole process will take the day from the day you started learning and the day you get a job the whole entire time can take up to eight to nine months no matter the market is bad, the market is good. And always remember, don't focus on other things. While learning, you should only focus on the learning part. Let's suppose you are focusing on cracking interview part or should I get uh, or will I get interviews or not? That is a waste of time. You should fully focus on learning part because 
with the half knowledge you are not eligible for interviews and even if you get interviews you cannot crack interviews so make sure you are completing each of the part before moving to the next part like learning part first you should complete after that you should complete applying part whatever difficulties you are facing in the learning part first you you should resolve that then whatever difficulties you are facing in the applying part and getting interviews part you should resolve that whatever difficulties you are facing in the cracking part you should resolve that and that's how you'll get better in each of the part so never think about the next part until you complete the current part and a lot of you have asked me about the clinical sas index or syllabus so the next video i'm going to make that is a clinical sas syllabus which are the most important thing you should learn and which will be the best way to learn that so hope this video is helpful for you and at the end make sure you are attending the session regularly in a week you are like mostly you are attending the session or in a month you are not missing much lectures and on top of that daily or actively communicate to your trainer because that will boost your confidence if you are not communicating to your trainer you are just idly sitting and listening what he is telling to you that is a bad idea of learning because once you communicate to him you get to know that what mistakes you are doing or what things are you doing correctly or something you can improve or not so actively contribute in your session okay if he is asking something to everyone or to you you should answer okay and if he is telling you to share your screen and perform some task you should do that because if you sit idly that is a loss for you only not for the trainer okay because the much communication or the engagement you will show in the training the much it will be better for the interview time so hope this video will help you and thank you everyone and bye bye everyone